Hey guys, we're back with another What's Sold on eBay video. My name's Cameron, go by Cam. You guys probably know it already, but if you're new, um, I'm a reseller on eBay. I sell stuff from garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, wherever I can find it. Basically, sometimes from the trash, we sell it on eBay to make a few extra bucks to provide for the family, allow us to do some extra things in life. It's a really great business model. I enjoy it tons, and I hope you um, find something here that can help you in your reselling business, or if you haven't started one, maybe you will want to start one after watching. On the screen, hopefully you'll see some of the results or whatever, how many sales and what's sold and or the numbers or whatever, so hopefully you guys enjoy that over there. Um, for those of you who um, have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I do try to get back to everybody. Sometimes I'm a couple days behind, but I will get to it. At least for now, I can manage the comments, so just be with me. But let's go ahead and go over what sold on eBay. So first off, we have a Santa and Nutcracker. These are like a 11-inch plush. They kind of like weighted at the bottom almost, so they can kind of sit up. I got uh, three sets of these at Walgreens after Christmas. They were like two fifty each or whatever for each plush. So I have five dollars in. They sold for thirty two shipped on sale. Wasn't really a great deal. I thought they might go. Maybe someone saw them that year and wants to get them for their Christmas for next year, but not so great. These two did sell here in I think October because these sales are from the end of October, uh, which is good because we're heading into Christmas. But hopefully someone will buy the other ones. I want to say shipping was over a pound though, so we're probably in them for about five bucks. Shipping around ten. Uh, this is a Beatles All You Need Is Love. This is a seven inch um, vinyl here. Got this in a big box of uh, Beatles stuff, mostly books and DVDs, but there were there were like two I think um, records in there, and this was one of them. And ended up selling for a best offer of thirty shipped. Um, all I can say about vinyl guys is people are super picky. So definitely be super critical of your item when you're going to list it, unless you're like a trained vinyl a grading expert or something. I am not. Here's the fun sale though. This is a Lego base plate lot, 38 different Lego base plates. As you can see by the photo, it's kind of crazy, but a lot of them have the track. It's like a roadway. Some of them have grass and water and different things. Um, I got all these from a thrift store. The thrift store had a bunch of Legos, just tubs of Legos set at like I want to say $60 to $100 each tub, which wasn't really bad for yourself, but wasn't really a great deal individually. But they had a box of all these base plates for only $20. Um, I bought the whole box. I knew it was a good deal when I saw it was in there. Um, I sold a manual already from the box with the, with the base plates for $20, bucks, so made most of our money back. Took a best offer of $140 on these, which is still pretty low. Um, the reason I did because they were kind of dirty. They were scuffed up. I cleaned them as best I could, but I didn't want to spend a ton of time. Uh, if I could have cleaned them up and made them real pristine, I probably could have got that 170, 180 mark, but got 140. Hopefully the buyer was happy and we were only 20 bucks in. Here is a back to life continuous motion back spine therapeutic massager. Got this for five bucks at an estate sale. It's a pretty big unit. I mean, it probably, if you look at that, it's probably all mm, six or eight inches taller from the desk to where the monitor is. So it's pretty decent sized thing. Not really that heavy though. Did not come with the power cord. Lady swore that the power cord she had was the one for it, but I confirmed it wasn't. Had to go order one online for like 20 bucks. Paired it with the system and it ended up selling for 110 shipped. Shipping was only like 14 bucks because it was going to California, but it could have been as high as about 40 if I would have been going to like New York or something like that. So probably an item for most people you should charge shipping on just to be safe. And hopefully yours comes with the power cord, so that way you're not uh, spending an extra 20 bucks on that. I'm not afraid to ship big items, though, so for me it's no big deal. A uh, Yadro annual Christmas bell lot. There are six of them here. These I paid, I think, 40 bucks or 30 bucks. I don't remember, for all the Yadro bells that I got. And this little lot sold for 50 bucks for the six of them. And I had a couple lots that I had built up. So um, Some Yadro stuff is good. Some of it's not so good, or at least not as quick of a sale. So definitely do your research before you get into it. Rayman Greatest Hits. Uh, this is a PS1 game. Sold for $14 shift. Easy sale there. This one's cool. This is a 1984 Nelson. It's called the Smallest Bible. Um, it's got the little pocket cover on there. It's got um, it's super small, just like a little Bible. And I got it, I think, for three or four bucks at an estate sale, and it sold for a best offer of 57 shipped. The guy who bought it said he was ordering it for his wife. They were traveling to, I don't remember. I want to say the Dominican Republic or something like that. Um, and they, she want, he wanted her to have a Bible she can kind of carry along with her while she's out and about. So it was a really cool story. Hopefully the lady loved it, but 57 shipped on the Bible. Two Kool-Aid. These are the last two. You guys may have seen the Kool-Aid cups. We had bought, bought a bunch, bunch of pitchers and some cups. These were two of the like white colored um, Kool-Aid mugs. They sold for $18 shipped. We do have one pitcher left, the clear one. That one hasn't sold, so 
Hopefully they'll sell here in the near future, but we got 18 shipped on those little guys. A Microsoft Xbox 360 memory card. This is the 256. It does not work with every 360 system. I think it works only with the original. Sold it for 10 bucks. The lady bought it and she had a newer unit and it would not work with her. She opened a return, but she never shipped it back. So the return was closed out, but you can get 10 bucks for these if you sell them. So, or if you find them, so it might be worth your time. Here's a neat desk desktop scanner. This is just a replacement tray. We've sold a couple of these. I buy the neat desk scanners. If they work, they're great power cord and everything. You can sell it for around 70, 75 shipped. This one um, did not work. So I pulled the power cord. I'm holding onto that in case I find another unit, but I sold the tray for 14 bucks. So pretty good ships out first class for three something. Definitely worth your time. If you find, get a broken unit, you can at least make a few bucks on it. Uh, Sudden Link, this is a transport uh, large remote control. It sold for $13 ship. That's from the remote buys while we were on vacation. Those remotes have been doing really well. I wish I could find some more. Uh, Ukulele, this is a PS4 game. Paid a dollar for it from one of my sources at his garage sale. And it sold for 16 shipped. I had never heard of the game. It looked interesting. I didn't even look it up. Just grabbed it for a buck. Definitely was worth it. Now I know to look out for it in the future. Here's a Walt Disney Treasures. Look out for these little Walt Disney Treasures tin DVD cases. If you can find them, some of them do really well. This one is Secret Stories and Magic from Disneyland. It sold for 95 shipped. I got it with Storage Unit Guy when I bought a bunch of stuff from him. The other day I found one, but it was just the empty tin. So I don't know if the tins individually have value, but if you can find one with all the stuff, definitely is worth at least looking on the price and seeing what you might be able to make. A Howl's Moving Castle. This is a used Blu-ray set. It sold for 15 shipped. Um, this is the one. I forgot the name of the Hayao Mizuzaki or something like that. Some of you may know. He does the one, I think, who uh, does these in movies. Um, some of them, for whatever reason, still have a good fall, and you can make, you can make some money selling them used. Uh, Walt Disneyland. This is a fantastic Main Street Electrical Parade CD. Sold for $15 shipped. That's from one of my CD buys. I don't remember which one. A Forerunner pickup manual. This is from 1978 to like 80 something. Mine title says 82, but I think my book is actually through 87. That was an error on my part, but it took a best offer and it sold for $40 shipped. From This is from the big manual buy. Uh, we bought all those car manuals for 500 bucks. Here is an OEM West Point Stevens Model 200 blanket control. I'm going to be selling through a couple of these in the next couple of weeks. I actually just sold one yesterday. Um, that uh, was a different brand. It was a Bideford or Bideford or whatever. But these things seem to sell well, especially when winter, winter rolls around. People are pulling out theirs. They can't find the control or whatever. Um, if you can get them for cheap, you can make some money. They can be a little bit heavy by the time you factor in the cord and everything. But 19 shipped, I bubble wrapped it and put it in a uh, bubble mailer and send it on its way first class. Some Brother TN04 different cartridges. These are brand new open box. The inks are sealed inside. Got four of them. We were in them for, I think, about $15 for all of them. They sold maybe 10 They sold for 80 shipped, though. They were from an estate sale, and um, they ended up doing okay. $80 shipped. I want to say shipping was only $17, $18 because I left the boxes with them, but they just were not that heavy. They were fairly light. They fit into a nice box, and they went out FedEx. Uh, Bose, this is from their vacation uh, remote buy. We bought all those remotes. This was the one that I saw and then that I knew was valuable. It's the Bose RC28T1-27 remote. It goes to one of those lifestyle media centers or whatever they're called. This one's sold for $73 shipped. The Bose remotes are some of the best ones if you can find them. This is Profits of Rage. No more patience from the hip hop buy, the cassettes, the rap. All those cassettes. This one we had listed at 40 but took a best offer of 27 I want to say the buyer messaged me and asked me what the best I would take. I sent an offer out for 27 and they jumped on it. Bought a bunch of Western shirts. Mostly um, Wrangler rodeo style ones with like crazy Aztec or just kind of crazy prints. There were a couple of Roper brand ones and I think one Panhandle Slim. Got them all for about $7 each. But some of the Wrangler ones are pretty nice. This one ended up selling though right away within a day for $40. Uh, just a, just flat laid it out, took a couple of pictures. It's got like a horse on there with some fire or whatever it looks like. Ended up selling for $40 shipped. Goes out first class. Hamlet, this is a BBC DVD, sold for $15. I don't even remember where I got it. I want to say a thrift store for a couple bucks, but it sold for $15. Uh, some Crocs women's wedge sandals. I've done really well with Crocs, especially if they're not your typical Croc. If they're more like stylish or whatever whether they're men's or women's if i can get them for a buck or two which seems to be a good price at a garage sale for used crocs i can make some pretty good money these ones were a dollar i sold the black pair that i had i bought two for a dollar each 
The black pair I want to sell, say, sold for 28 or 30. Took a best offer of 25 on this one. I think they were either right at a pound or a little bit over. So we may have paid eight or nine bucks to ship them, but still was a good deal. We're only in them for a dollar. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, movie magazine, The Secret of Ooze. This one sold for $19.99. Got that with all the mad magazines. Here is a Dodgers mesh trucker hat from the 80s. This one took a best offer of 50 shipped. I think it was right after the Dodgers won or right around that time or whatever. So I'm sure that's why someone bought it. Uh, I got a best offer of 50. We went back and forth. I think they started at 40. We met at 50 and I accepted the offer. I was only in it for a dollar. A Microsoft webcam. Uh, these are still doing well. Obviously, when the quarantine first happened, webcams were really hard to come by, especially the good Logitech HD ones. This one's not so great of a one. I got it for a dollar at a garage sale, and it sold for 20 ship that goes out first class. Why someone's buying it, I have no idea because it's not really that great of an image, but someone did jump on it for 20 A Tennessee trucker hat. This is like a little basset hat on the front. Took a best offer of 14 ship. This one I had an offer of a long time ago, I want to say for 20 bucks. I declined and countered at like 20 something dollars or whatever it was and never heard back from that person. I haven't had an offer since that was anywhere close. Finally, someone offered 14. It's a pretty cool hat with the little hound on the front, but I was happy to get it out of here for, for $14. I was only in it for a dollar. Two Frogger PS1 games. Got these when I got that um, other game that Rayman won. Uh, we were in it for 50 bucks, I think, for everything with all the systems. But this one, these two I lotted together because it's Frogger 1 and 2, and they sold for 28 ship. They also go out first class. The Source, this is one of those rat magazines. This one's got Dr. Dre on the front. This one sold for 72 shipped on a best offer. It was listed at 120. Took a best offer of 72. We sold that Tupac one, I think, the other day for 50. So we've made quite a bit of money on the Source magazines. A Pelican 7600 rechargeable tactical flashlight. Got this, I want to say, for 15 bucks at one of my Source's sales. It did work. It's a pretty cool flashlight. It worked out really well, actually. Tested it out, but ended up taking a best offer of 59 shipped. Did go out first class. Braun, look out for these guys. Look out for the Razor replacements. This is the Braun Series 3. It was brand new sealed. I bought the whole Razor set for an Eden Estate sale for three bucks. Came with the Razor and this um, this replacement cartridge. I really only wanted it for the cartridge. So for three bucks, I bought it and I sold the cartridge for 25 shipped. I think I did list the Razor just as a test to see if it'll sell with the power cord and the instructions and everything, but it hasn't sold yet. So it may not sell, but look out for the sealed cartridges. You can make some money there. Here's a TaylorMade R9 KBS iron. Got this one, I think, for 3 or $4 at a Goodwill and ended up selling for $45 shipped. Was surprised to see a TaylorMade iron there. There were no other ones around, but I knew it was a good brand and ended up selling pretty well. Skip Bow, this is a factory sealed card game from 1982. It sold for $29 shipped. Uh, goes out, I think, in a padded flat rate because it was over a pound, but a great deal there on an old video game or an old uh, board game, card game sealed. Ironside Season 1 paid $4.99 for this at one of my thrift stores, plus tax, paid up, but it sold within hours for 28 ship that went out media mail. So I knew I was going to pay up for it because it sold so well and it definitely worked out. So don't be afraid to pay up on a, on a media item if you know it's going to sell. Scan those DVD series that you haven't seen before that look kind of odd. Those tend to be the ones that have some value. Here's a Hankel's 31095. This is a 6-inch cleaver. This is um, a pretty good, pretty good knife here. Pretty solid. Uh, it was listed at 60 bucks, but I took a best offer of 40 ship. 60 was way high. It should have been listed at 50, probably when I look back. But took a best offer of 40. Went out and I think in a padded flat rate. I just put some cardboard around it to protect the people from the blade, and then wrapped it in bubble wrap and then put it in the the bat padded flat rate. And the person said it came and arrived great, and they were happy with it. Complete Greatest Hits by Gordon Lightfoot. Never heard of them, but sold for $12 ship, the CD from the Rock and Roll Buy. These were cool. These were Leapfrog Click Start, my first computer software game cartridges. There's seven of them here. I bought a bag of Leapfrog cartridges and games for $10. Mostly I wanted it for the cartridges. These seven right here, I've never heard of the Click Start, but they sold for $35 just for the cartridges only. So definitely worth looking out for, and they sold very quickly. The other Leap Pad stuff hasn't sold yet. Some G.I. Joe action figures, weapons, and accessories, and there are other different types of figures or weapons from other different series as well. I spent 20 bucks on a shoebox full of this stuff from one of my sources. Um, just bought it because he really needed to sell it to me. He felt like I wasn't sure. I could have gone in there and gone to the action figure group and put all the things there and found out what weapon went with what. 
I went for an auction, I think like at 70 bucks. No one bid on it. I ended up listing it as a buy it now. I think 80 or 90 bucks or best offer. I was like, hey, if I can make some money and move it out, I'll be happy. Some guy offered 50 and he said, look, most of them aren't GI Joe. There's other stuff in here as well. I need some of the weapons. Uh, I'll give you 50 bucks shipped. And I was like, you know what? Just get them out of here. So we spent 20, sold it for 50. It shipped out in a padded flat rate, I want to say. And when it's all said and done, we may have made 10 bucks, something like that, maybe a little bit more. Not a whole lot for sure. But sometimes when I'm buying from my sources, and I've told you guys this before, sometimes I'll buy just because I want to keep the cash flow going and I want them to always call me if they find something. Because sometimes it's not so great or it's an okay deal. But other times, it's amazing. It's some better deals than I could ever find out in the wild, it seems. So it's worth it to, to make sure that we're exchanging money and I'm getting stuff that I can you know, sell and make something on. And I'm, but I'll definitely be the one they call when they find something that I really want to buy. And I usually can get a good price for it. Here's another Tipman A5 paintball gun. This one sold for $85 shipped. It was sold as is. I think we have one paintball gun left. I think you saw two in the last video. Here's a PS3 Move Controller. This is a little, not the doesn't have the little ball on the top. But this is a little navigation one. This one ended up selling for twenty shipped. Um, I forgot where I got it from. I may have. I used to buy these at quick little tip. I used to buy these at GameStop. If you maybe check your GameStop, they would sell them for a dollar ninety nine each. These little navigation controllers. And back then, I used to lock them together, a lot of two, and sell them for like twenty five shipped. So I'd spend four dollars. I could ship them out first class. And I could make some money. Um, they don't sell that quickly, but they would always sell. Now I haven't found them at my GameStop anymore, but if you have a GameStop near you, look out for these little navigation controllers. A uh, $20 shipped on this. And sometimes you can find like uh, the little Xbox 360 hard drive transfers or the wireless Xbox 360 um, little chips that you put in the back or whatever. Sometimes they underprice those things and you can actually profit on them. But I don't know, it might be worth your time at GameStop. Thomas the Tank Engine, some more kids VHS are selling. This one I bought a bunch of Thomas the Tank Engine, plus books, a couple of board games, $10 for a whole box from this one guy. There were like eight or nine Thomas sealed VHSs. This one sold for $20 shipped. And I think we got a couple more coming up. A Chevy, Chevrolet Bel Air, Bel Air, this is a 1950s uh, trunk emblem. It sold for $50.99 on a 15% off sale. It came from storage unit guy. It did have some damage on it. It was not perfect, but $51 on that. A Fujifilm disposable camera. This is the quick snap waterproof 35 millimeter. A dollar in and it sold for a whopping $8.49. Uh, we made a little bit of money after shipping and fees. Maybe a buck or two, three, something like that. But not a whole lot. Happy to get it out though. And lastly guys, Van Helsink. This is a PSP game. Uh, not a game. It's a movie. UMD movie. This one is brand new sealed. Um, but it had some wear to the outer seal. I listed it as like new instead of brand new. And it sold on a bet, or sold on a full price sale of twenty dollars shipped and went out first class. But that is everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please make sure to let me know. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Hopefully, the format's working with everybody. I do have some mail from one of the viewers who sent me something very um, near and dear to my heart. Uh, this person's a longtime subscriber, really good supporter of the channel. Um, I forgot to grab it, so I will make sure to put it in the next video that we have so I can show you guys um, what ha what he got me. And um, it's something I had before, and um, I'm, I'm glad to get it back. So uh, I appreciate that. And not that anyone ever has to send me anything. I don't expect that from any of you. Uh, you don't have to buy anything from my store. You don't have to do anything. Just come in here and watching and, you know, engaging in the liking, commenting, or whatever. I just appreciate you guys coming in. So I'm not here to push any of that. But he did send it, and I want to show it because definitely is important and it's special and I appreciated all the the generosity basically um, by this viewer so we'll show that in the next one but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time take care